Uh, what we have here is a leaking radiator. You could see right along the seam the radiator is leaking and soaking with coolant right here. So we're going to change the radiator for this Acura at this point. Here's a replacement radiator for that uh, Acura and uh, along here is where the crack is on the plastic side on the car so I'm going to replace it with this radiator. It costs about 75 bucks. So the first step is to take the drain plug out of the radiator and that's the drain plug. Uh, as you can see it, it's right here. You just uh, unscrew that and drain all the coolant into the pan. Right, the second step is to take all the radiator mounts off, which I already took this. The top mounts, there are two mounts here, one in there, and there's your radiator. And in this case, the car also had a couple of the fuse box attached to it, took that off. And then there's a little, um, I don't know what it is, but that was attached and took that off as well. So just free the radiator up with anything attached to it. Next step would be to take these hoses off. Here's the upper hose. The lower hose we tackle from the bottom. So uh, take the hose off, you know, you, you pinch this with the uh, clamps and wiggle it out. So basically you press this with uh, vice grips and slide it out. And you use a special tool like this or a flathead screwdriver. This is a lot easier with this tool than the screwdriver to get your tool in there, wiggle it around, all the way around and then eventually pull the hose out. Then you wiggle your way around the hose, put your and out it comes. And then you have the lower radiator hose right here, you do the same, you pull the clamp and pull the hose out and uh, also pull the transmission lines which is right here. There's one and then one on the other side. So you pull all of them and then we can lift the radiator up. Alright, time to lift. Pull all the hoses out. Yeah. It's getting stuck somewhere. A little bit. I see where it's The stuck. fuse box is getting stuck here. He, he, he gave past the fuse box. He ports it on this side. There's a couple of uh, the gas pedal cable is kind of hitting there. Okay now the old radiator is uh, totally out. Like I said in order to pull that out um, you gotta take the upper radiator hose and the lower radiator hose first drain the fluid and take out the two transmission lines and a bunch of uh, little wiring clips like these. Um, the wires that are attached to the radiator and there's a couple of clamps for the fuse box here and whatnot. Uh, Got to take the air box out just to get a little clearance. And once the radiator out, we took out the fans from the radiator and the coolant sensor. Now we'll transfer everything to the new radiator. I didn't. <laughs> Alright, take the coolant sensor right there of the old radiator, pop it into the new one. Right, once the radiator is out, uh, we take these fans these bolts, everything is a 10 millimeter bolt and then transfer it to the new radiator. Alright, so the fan gets mounted to the new radiator. Align the holes. It's like eight different um, 10 millimeter screws that goes in there. Two fans. Alright, so the new radiator is in. And we're going to fill it with coolant. Uh, you just fill the coolant in the radiator cap and uh, here's a bleeder screw that once you fill the um, coolant in the radiator you loosen this to get rid of all the bubbles air trapped in the system. Um, another way to do it is to use a spill free funnel like this one. Um, you could pick it up for 20 bucks. That's how it looks, a spill free embudo funnel. Uh, comes with different fittings for different cars. You could see a bunch of fittings that goes into different makes and models. But this one was pretty simple. You have a little cap and a rubber 
washer underneath so you put that and uh, you basically um, you know push the funnel in there there's a little dipstick kind of a thing that once uh, you, you remove this first and you put the coolant in there and once you want to um, take it off you put this back and you drain it into the bottle all right it's time to add coolant The good thing about the funnel is that you could add more coolant than necessary and uh, start the car and let it bleed out the bubbles and you could literally see the bubbles coming out through the funnel. It is a good idea to watch the bottom of the ratty before you fill that funnel. Yep, like my friend says here, it's a good idea to watch under the car just to make sure the bleeder screws are... <laughs> oh. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. Well, it stopped. Did that come out of the bleeder screw? <laughs> You're good. Oh, it's not. Well, okay, so there's a... camera uh, on that. <laughs> there's a, the bleeder screw does. Okay, having the bleeder screw out, and you can see a um, little coolant came out of that and uh, spilled through the bottom. That's what we were hearing. Not a bad thing. That way you know. That's exactly what you want. All right, now I can keep going. Fill it up more. I think we are hitting a point where it's getting full. All right, that's full about halfway in the funnel. Now it's time to start the car and uh, wiggle the hoses, massage it a little more to get uh, air out of it. All right, we start the car and wait for a little bit. So uh, once the thermostat opens, uh, you would see the thing uh, going down a little more. That way we can leave the system perfectly fine. That's how the bleeder screw is supposed to work. You see the bubbles coming out of the system. And uh, you wait till you get a steady stream of coolant. And you keep filling here. That way you have enough coolant to go over there. All right, now we see a steady stream, a little better coming out of there. That's how it should look like. That's a lot better. So now all you have to do is put this in there to stop it from further sucking in, because uh, the more it sucks in, it's going to fill up the reservoir. So after that, stop the car, let it cool down a bit before we can open and put the real caps on. All right, that's the end of it. So you put back, after bleeding, uh, you put the cover back on and uh, add uh, a little bit of transmission fluid, what we lost from bottom. And that's it, how you change the radiator.